Hey y'all. Hope you're all doing good. Guess what? Finally got a load of wood. <laughs> I got my daughter out here. This is Elizabeth. Say hi Elizabeth. Hi. She helped me unload. Okay. Got a little bit of a little bit of wood here. Getting it stacked up. All this wood here, that's all green. That's all what I've cut down over the summer that I got it all cut and split. Trying to build up Elizabeth's muscles here. So this is where we're putting it all, getting it all up under the tarp. Eventually what I want to do, I want to put a couple lean-tos here. Um, coming off the, the side of the house and over the wood. That way nice and dry. Big one? Yeah, I got some big ones in here. So, don't mind us. We're gonna, we're going to uh, unload some wood. So, get you, get it settled here. Put you up here. There we go. That's a little better. There. <laughs> How y'all doing? All right, that's better. Ready? Alright, let me get some wood unloaded. Yeah, she's been working hard. Went in there, grabbed the tripod. She unloaded uh, the whole back of the truck here. Here. I have a little cart here. Haul my wood over to the garage. I'm gonna load that up. Y'all yeah, watch her. She work, she work. Scott, I didn't see your email. I'll get to it. Uh, good country living. So yeah, I'll uh, I'll get to that. Oh, say hi. Say hi. Hi. This is Oric. Say hi, hi. You gonna help unload wood too? Yes. Ten ten carb like we uh seen uh disassemble so I'll see y'all in the garage. Baby. Okay, we're back. Elizabeth wanna say bye. Say bye bye. Bye. You wanna say bye bye? Bye. Wave. There you go. <laughs> Alright. Now I'll see y'all in the garage. Hey y'all. Uh, turn down the music. We're all right. We're back out in the garage. And yes, look at this. I got my sleeves all rolled up. Feeling good. It's nice to have wood in here. Heat. Good old-fashioned heat. Can't, can't get away from that old-fashioned wood heat, you know? So, 
yeah, got that all stocked up, all stacked up. Some in the garage, got the others, that other wood covered. And I wanted to get another, another load, but didn't have time. It running dark, running out of time, and kids came over and came out and played, stacked wood. Daughter did a pretty good job this time around. I, mean, I was very impressed. I think it had something to do with the camera. She's a, a big YouTube fan. She she dreams about being a, a YouTuber. <laughs> so, yes. Yeah, she wants to be a big YouTuber. One of those kids that uh, open opens... Uh, toys, ungifting, unwrapping thing. Yeah, that's what she wants to do. I told her maybe one day. She's only eight. Just turn eight. So, I have one more thing to do. I'll be right back. Okay, I got a little bit ahead of myself. I thought I was ready and I wasn't. Alright, so, like I mentioned earlier, we have the, the carp for the 1010, which is still continuing to leak out all over the place. Which is kind of weird, because the <laughs> gas tank's empty. That's, that's a lot more than uh, it should be in there. Anyway... So, like I said, um, there's the, the company, Marine, uh, I re can't remember the, uh, can't remember the website, the company. But anyway, they're a very good company, that's where I order all my card kits, as much as I can anyway. And they come up with a diagram. From Walboro of how to assemble your stuff. Now I told you before I've I've done many of these uh, these type of carbs. They're all pretty sim similar. So I'm gonna bring you in here. Now I'm gonna kind of go through it real quick. I'm not gonna be real heavy on the uh, on the the content with it. So it won't be so long. So down here on the table here. You know what? And I think the other side worked out a little better for us last time, didn't it? Yeah, I got two separate here. I got another carb over here as well. I'm trying to keep them separated. These are all the gaskets that came with that kit. All this right here. This right here is all new stuff. All new stuff. Alright. So I didn't mess with the Welsh plugs. Like I mentioned before. So in here. We're basically. Alright we're going to start. See the carb. Sits like this. Sits like this on the. So technically, uh, I don't know what you would call top or bottom, but uh, we'll start on this side. But well, that's probably top side, bottom side. I don't, who knows? The number side. Yeah, we'll do that. And uh, I still need to move you. Yeah, I talked to a few of you the last couple days. Quite a few of you, actually. Holy moly, I'm trying to keep up with everybody. Everybody wants stickers, which is a good thing. I don't have a problem doing it. Yeah, I'll send you all out some stickers. And decals, actually, they're decals. They're all vinyl, so technically they're uh, decals. All right, now well, let's start on the other side. This side is the pump side. 
Okay, this is pretty much, well, we call it the bottom side. Yeah, we call it that. Now, this side doesn't have the pegs like uh, you would think. So, you can go off your diagram, set it to where your diagram is. Uh, where it sits on there. So, again. You know what? Hey, they sent me the wrong diagram here. Yeah, this don't make a lot of sense. Huh. Well, that's why you look at your other stuff. Well, no. I guess so. Yeah. Okay. Well, I know the rubber side here that part goes down oh hold on we gotta get our little screen in there I love our uh, fuel screen here I get that in there now oh, this one's a little bit on the wider side which is good because it sits it sets in there real nice you want to get like a small uh, socket that usually works the best. Or at least that's what I use. If I can remember which one I use. This will sit in there real nicely. Okay, that one's just a hair too big. Maybe it's a 7.30 seconds. Nope. Sixteenths. I bet you it's a three sixteenths. Look at there. Three sixteenths. Well, that's still a little on the big side. Try five mil. Five mil. Sixteenths works pretty, pretty decent. At least on the craftsman side. All right. Now we can put all this in. Flip it over. It's kind of hard to mess them up. Like I said, they're the same shape as your your carb. Okay, so really, I mean, it's basically the same shape. Can't see that there. Got that little bump there. Only fit one way. All right. Uh, I'm trying to remember here. Fuel pump. Let's end this. Should go next here. Like so. And then your cover. So that's your fuel pump diaphragm. That side's pretty simple. Pretty quick and easy. Remember, when you go to tighten your bolts or your screws down. Do kinney corners, kinney corner, back and forth. I like to get them down there just barely snug, just where the screw stops, and then I'll tighten them real good by hand. Now, kinney corner, one, two, three, four, kinney corner. Kind of like doing lug nuts in your car. Yep, just snug. That that's how snug it is, or barely snug. See? And I'll go through it a couple times. Now 
Now these have locking washers, lock washers on there. So you want to make sure they're flat. They'll go flat once you get them all the way down. So it, it feels like you're over tightening it, but you're not. Oh, that hurt. Yeah, don't do that. Yeah, that left a. That dug into my hand pretty good there. That may bleed there. That one might bleed. Yeah, let's leave that on the table. Downside, uh, regular screws, you know. I always like those Phillips. Don't do that as much. It's not the first time, not the last time, that's for sure. All right. All right, now we can flip it over. But now we have the fuel, fuel pump diaphragm all set. First thing I like to do in here is the needle. Actually, it's pretty much what you do need to do. Okay. Got your, uh, your needle. Make sure everything stays clean. Like I said before, I like to reuse. Um, hold on. I don't think it, actually, it might tell me the name on here. The lever. Meteor. Medi. Yeah. The lever. I know there's a different name for it. People have different names for everything. All right, so we have our pen that goes right through our lever. And it, there is a certain way it goes down. It's pretty, it's pretty self-explanatory, really. Okay, and got the little end that clips on there. Under your, your needle. And that will slip right down in there. But... You also have to get this little spring in here. And that fits down in the hole and then locks into the back side of this. Uh, the meat of the lever. So a lot of times what I'll do. Kind of angle it up a little bit. I know it's not the, the greatest view. I apologize. Alright, I just lost it. Alright. I'll, I'll try it this way. Stick the spring down. We'll compress, put the spring right in there and we'll compress it down and hook our needle. And it looks like we're, we have success. Then we need our little screw here. We have a little tiny screw that holds down that pin that goes through the lever. Make sure you get screwdrivers that fit your screw heads perfect. You don't want to strip them out. All right, just like that. Check it. Doop, 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 doop. I like to check to make sure it's seating. And don't have too much of a gap in there. Seems all right. Uh, let me go, be right back with you guys. Okay, now we're back. Now, Wobro says in their uh, little description, oh yeah, I'm bleeding. <laughs> go figure, right? Anyway, Wobro says that you take a straight edge. Now, they have two little embossed areas on here. should take a small straight edge and put a straight edge right on on the uh, end of the the uh, lever and just barely I think it said air, slight pressure and the meter the lever should just touch 
So if once you put your straight edge on those embossed areas, your lever should just touch the um, the lever. Okay, and it looks to be pretty good. I might bring it up just a tad bit. Yep, there we go. All right. So basically, the lever is level with these embossed areas on here. I might bend it just down just ever so slightly. Now I put, I had to go ahead and put the new one on there because the old one was all bent out of shape. It would, may, I am pretty sure that was the problem before. All right. Now, with that said, that is on there like it should be. Okay. Um, we have our gasket on here. That. Yeah, flip that around. Uh, let's see. Now this has some a couple pegs on there, so it's hard to mess that up. Okay, and then you have your diaphragm. This diaphragm, I'm sure everything's clean. This diaphragm, that's what does all the work, right? So, on that little lever there, and on the di diaphragm, it's just like the 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 inlet needle there it has to hook on to that lever okay so the diaphragm hooks onto that lever and you gotta make sure that is hooked on there before <laughs> before you put it all together because that's what pushes everything up and down it stays on there okay all right i'm gonna take one more peek Make sure it's on there. Yep, we're on there. We're good. We're golden. So, there we go. And then, there's your cover. Now, this comes with a different couple gaskets on here. Um, so, you don't need... All the gaskets that it comes with. Oh, I moved our diaphragm. Uh, there are different different models to it. So you won't need all of them that they are supplied with. There we go. Now we can put our screws in. Now these have star washers, which allow them to grip and hold. I like to put all my screws in first before I start tightening down. That way you don't you're making sure everything's level. And voila, there you have it. You know, just tighten down your screws and then you pretty much have it. I'll be sure to keep this one on the on the uh, table here. I'll go through my hand again. That still hurts. Alright, we'll go back through it a second time. Tighten down real good. Because if you remember me taking it apart in the last video, these screws were very loose. Very loose. All right, there we have it. And I already went ahead and I put the butterfly in there. So I already got that in there. All right. There we have it. 
All set. All right, y'all. Uh, I hope you enjoyed the video. I know it was kind of quick. Actually, we did actually assemble it faster than uh, we thought we would. So, um, I'm gonna see if I can get it mounted and put on. You know, put it on the saw and see if we can get her started and check for leaks and whatnot before we tear it all apart and uh, port it. So, all right. Well, I if I don't, I hope you all enjoy the video and I will see you on the next one. So please be safe, be kind, and please spread the love. The world needs it. I'll see y'all later. Hey folks, I'm back. I made a, I made a screw up. That's I guess that's what I get for gloating about uh, knowing uh, so much about these carpets. Apparently I don't. So, there is a screw up I did make. You know, because uh, something didn't look right as I, I was, I didn't even get out of my chair yet. And it, so I was looking at the carbon and it didn't look right. All right. On the fuel pump side, I did screw up. I'm missing a gasket. Okay. Okay, so I have the two dot pump fuel pump diaphragms right here so those do go on okay there's a rubber one and then there's a kind of like a, uh, a fiber filled gasket now I know those two go on there but then I was looking over at the old gaskets and this is why I keep the old stuff before I throw away anything before I'm done. I noticed that there's a thicker gasket on here. And then I looked over here and there are two different fuel pump gaskets. Now I'm looking, I'm looking at the at the diagram as well. I'm like hmm. It don't look right. Yep, nope, don't look right. So I was just reading it again, sorry. Um, then I noticed there's some notes at the top there. It says, if this kit contains two fuel pump gaskets, be sure to use the correct gasket. Two fuel pump gaskets. So we got to make sure we get <laughs> use the right one here. All right. Now this gasket goes be underneath here, underneath your cover. And then it says, use the th thin gasket if your carb has a die cast cover, or use the thick gasket if you have a steel stamp. A stamp st steel, well it says steel stamp, but stamp steel, which this one is stamp steel. Die, die cast, I'm sure you all know, that's pretty much what the carb is, is a die cast. It's poured, okay, so it won't look very as smooth. Um, it would be not steel. It would be pretty much aluminum or a magnesium uh, type metal. Um, but this stamp is a stamp steel, as you can see. It's pretty, pretty uh, self-explanatory. So we need to go with the thicker gasket, which makes sense because. It's the same thickness as the old one. Okay. And it's a little... Well, I guess it isn't that different. I guess it's not different. It looked different. But no, the one's real thin and one's real thick. Pretty self-explanatory. Uh, so if... Make sure you read your instructions carefully. And look at your old gaskets as well because you never know like I said you will have extra gaskets in some kits and you want to make sure you get them all in there like right now I noticed the dip that the oops the little 
little screw up there. And, uh, yeah. That's why I keep the old stuff. Yeah, I was kind of gathering everything, and some didn't look right. Looked at the old gaskets. Yep, that's what I'm missing. So, yeah, I gotta make sure you get everything in there. So, it's a little thicker now. That's what it's supposed to look like. That looks a whole lot better to me. So, just wanted to throw that in there. All right, I'll see if we get this thing started next. Just see me try to get that thing going. A good, good ten minutes. Uh, fine tune everything just to get it started. Woo wee! All right, folks. Y'all take care. Be safe. Be kind. Spread the love. I'll see you on the next video.